Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful uh, balloon centerpiece. And this could be great for showers, weddings, you name it, birthday parties. So let's get started and I'll show you how to build it from the base to the whole design. So if you like more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Hit that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And um, don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Facebook page, and let's get started on building this beauty. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So. As I mentioned before, today I will show you how to make this um, beautiful centerpiece. And I wanna give you a little bit background um, story to this. This centerpiece was an inspiration to a picture one of my clients sent me. And she asked me to see if I can replicate this one. And I'll pop it over here for you guys to see. And uh, this centerpiece uh, will be, um, I'm gonna make two of those and they are for a 100 year old birthday party which i'm super excited about and the colors for this birthday will be rose gold gold pastel pink and white so this centerpiece that i'm gonna make will have those colors in there and um so let me show you really quick my materials and uh what i got to build this stuff okay Okay, you guys, so let me show you my materials. I went and ran to the dollar store and I got these uh, really heavy, um, just plates, okay? And uh, I'm gonna use this as my base for my centerpiece. So I'm gonna build a structure first and um, I'm gonna put it upside down and you will need your um, hot glue gun, okay? So the next thing is, you can find at any store these um, balloon sticks. Mine is pretty thick, not the skinny ones. And I have an end right over here. It's called a maxi cup, as you can see. And I'm gonna put another maxi cup at the end, on the other end, okay? So it's gonna end up looking just like this. And one of these maxi cups I'm going to use my glue gun and glue it to the center of my plate, okay? So now, just make sure you heat up your glue gun and be careful, you guys, not to um, burn yourselves, okay? If you're here, my kids, they are around, you guys, so bear with me. So I'm just gonna go just like this and help it cool off by just blowing on it. And I'm gonna go one more time on top and I'm gonna reinforce this glue. Okay, I'm making the glue thicker as I go. And I think I'm gonna need another glue stick. So I'm just gonna stick another glue stick here and continue to glue my maxi cup to my plate, okay? I kind of like smear it a little bit. So it's really glued up in there on both sides of my maxi cup, okay? All right, and you're gonna just blow on it until it's dry enough, okay? So right now I'm just gonna let it sit, pressing on it, and just let it cool off. If you need to add a little bit more, you can, but the whole purpose of this is so that there's heaviness, there's some weight at the base of your piece, and your maxi cup doesn't go anywhere, okay? I mean, you can already tell, look, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to blow up my bubble balloon, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. 
Okay, you guys, so here's the fun part. I'm gonna build my uh, bubble balloon. Now, you can put on the, on your, as your topper, you can put um, a, uh, what do you call those? Um, it's a special balloon, it's very shiny. It's, um, oh, an orb, it's called. And you can just inflate one of those and pop it on top as a topper. But if you don't have that, what you can do is use what you have at hand. So what I do have here is a rose gold 12 inch balloon and I have a 20 inch bubble balloon. And I'm gonna accomplish the same exact look as an orb, okay? I think they sell them um, chrome uh, orbs and they are a little on the pricey side so I'll show you a fun way to kind of accomplish the same look without having to buy them. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna grab your hand pump. You can do this with your electric pump, but I prefer my hand pump because I can control the air. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna inflate a little bit just to um, open up, because right now it's really flat, my bubble balloon. So I'm gonna pop, I gotta stand up for this, you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to put some air on it, and I'm averaging, a few pumps I will say like go up to 20 25 pumps and that will stretch it enough you know you're trying to stretch your balloon you guys and you want it to look round not lopsided okay so you're stretching and now you're gonna take the air and it's gonna be stretched up a little bit. You're gonna work it by stretching around, okay? And you don't need to stretch it that much, just enough so that there's some stretch to it. Now, here's the thing. Bobo balloons tend to, and I'm gonna bring the camera up a little bit. Bobo balloons tend to have a very long nozzle so I'm going to help myself by cutting this. And you'll see why. So I'm gonna cut it, okay? This part is tricky though. Try to get the, um, the balloon to open. Let's see. Because it's, it's almost like a beach ball consistency, like plasticky. And there it is, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my 12 inch, but I wanna show you guys um, how to stick it in, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, here you go. Okay, so I have, you can use any sticks, any pencils or pens. You're gonna grab your 12 inch balloon, okay? and you're going to feed it, feed this in your boba balloon, just like that. Of course, get rid of the stick, right? That way it's easier. So essentially, you're going to have a balloon. This case is a 12 inch chrome balloon, rose gold, inside a 20 inch bubble balloon, okay? And I want my nozzle of my inside balloon to peek out more than, just about there, more than the bubble balloon, okay? So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, and you better be ready with this, you guys. I, yeah, that's your good. So I'm gonna grab my hand pump, and I'm gonna insert my pump on the neck of the inside balloon, okay? And this is what I'm going to be grabbing. Not the bubble balloon, the neck of the chrome balloon. Okay? So this is, like, if I pull it, this will come off. I don't want it to come off, so be careful. But you're not going to grab onto it because you're not going to put any air on this. You're only putting air on your chrome balloon. Okay? And I know what size I need for my centerpiece, and I counted about 45 pumps. So, 
you know. So I'm gonna start with my pump out and I'm gonna start, I wanna have you guys see what I'm doing here, okay? And I'm going to start counting. So bear with me. That's about 45 pumps, okay, you guys? And you see how shiny it looks? So basically, and let me bring you back up. So basically what I did is I inflated the inside balloon and the bubble balloon or bubble clear balloon, it's only, the only purpose of this balloon is to, um, basically protect my inside balloon and give it that extra shiny look to it, okay? So now, I'm not releasing any air. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this, okay? Make a nice knot, and you can make a two, two knots if you want. Just make sure you don't tear your tab, okay? Now normally chrome balloons are thicker than regular latex balloons, so this is what I'm left with, you see? So I have my inside balloon and I didn't even close the bubble balloon. I just left it like that. And I have this beautiful, beautiful chrome, almost like balloon. All right, let me think. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is wait until my plate with my setup here dries up, okay? Once it's all cool, you test it, it's not gonna go anywhere, look at that, okay? So now the next thing is, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach my topper on my maxi cup. Okay. okay, you guys, so here's my centerpiece, and I have my plate with my topper, and look at how pretty this looks, and it's not gonna go anywhere. So even though you see it moving, it's not gonna go anywhere. Look at this. So, you're gonna put it just like that. And now I'm going to proceed and build my base and decorate this centerpiece. But Okay, you guys, so here's the thing. <laughs> I took this off because i'm going to put this at the end but i decided to build a tiny little quad of um two balloons and put them on the side and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side i want to make it like a cloud type so i'm going to grab my balloon and i'm just gonna inflate it just about there okay very simple and I'm gonna grab a white balloon and do the same thing. And same thing. So I'm gonna grab these two and marry them together. And form my mini quad by squeezing this little balloon into two. Same thing with my pink. And now that I have like this, I'm gonna weave them together to lock them in place. Can you see them? And I have this tab right here, and I'm gonna grab that tab and pretty much use one of the tabs that I have here 
and marry the two. I think this one should be fine. Now I want to make sure that my balloons don't go anywhere, so I'm tying them to the middle of my tab, my first base, okay? I don't want to um, glue dot them because I feel like they can come apart. So I'm going to have them here. You can have them looking like this. You can bring one here, the other one down here in the middle, and maybe plop this one right there. It's entirely up to you how you want your design. I want it to be organic, so it's going to look as organic as possible as I can make it. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna build my base with my balloons, and I have a pastel pink and a white, and I have duplets, which I calibrated to about five inches each, okay? Once I have my duplets, I'm going to marry them to form a quad, okay? Now that I have this quad, I wanna show you guys, I'm going to be weaving this, in the middle of my base. And I'm going to crisscross them to build this quad just like this. Okay, so, so far this is what I got. And most of the stuff, you guys, you cover the plate as you can see it's not that visible and then i'm going to start building my organic right around here so first thing i need is i'm going to make uh i feel like i'm going to make a mm, i don't know maybe a, a, a quad of rose gold I'm going to deflate this one just like this. And grab this one just like that. And I'm going to basically turn this into two little balloons, okay? like that okay I think that will look cute okay you guys once you have your uh, balloon wrapped into your uh, broomstick you're just gonna go ahead and pump some air okay and there you have it I take some air Recurl it, reshape it. Reshape it. And it's gonna make for a beautiful curl. That's gonna go right on my piece, okay? Now in this case, I wanna measure a little bit less, so I'm gonna take this like that. I don't want my curl to be too big. And I'm going to tie a knot. And this serves to attach my curl. You can reshape it again. Okay. And look at that. So, what I have here, you guys is my centerpiece so i want to show you really quick what i did so this is what it looks like look at how beautiful you guys so all i did was just added little clusters of balloons 
added my little curlies on the top just like that and boom you have a nice centerpiece if you want to put something as far as like uh, personalize your balloon you can do so but this is pretty much my take on the original inspiration picture that my um, customer sent me and I think this is beautiful and you can grab it from here and it's look my hand is not even there it's not gonna go anywhere okay so I think this it's so beautiful and for a sweet 16 for a baby shower I mean the options are so cute and I think it just is lovely right just a little hint so I have my um, my rose gold on top so I wanted to tie in with my rose gold at the bottom but just being settled not so much of that and I do have like my pink and white balloons almost resembling like a cloud and I wanted my curlies my curlies actually were longer but I wanted to make them smaller and all you do is just release some air and tie it where you want and I just brought the gold up here so this is what it looks like and I hope you guys enjoy more videos like this I know it's been a little bit chaotic with um, trying to finish this video you guys my kids have been like all over the place stop and go stop and go but I was able to finish this piece and now I'm moving on to my second one and I will be doing the same exact thing and you guys this is not going to go anywhere I mean look pretty sturdy you guys you know and um, for a centerpiece lovely so I hope you guys enjoy this don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below leave me your comments and I can't wait on seeing you on the next video bye bye you guys thank you for watching